In a lot of B2B products, you don't get the scale to be able to do things in a data-driven way, truly, right? Like a lot of stuff is is guess and test because your TAM's not big. You you got a couple hundred users. Um, but, with Fathom, we can, you know, we're a B2B product, right? But we have enough scale because it's kind of a prosumer product too that, like I said, 100,000 users, that's more than enough to run A-B tests, more than enough to do, you know, you can change something the onboarding funnel and it only takes you a couple of days to see statistical significance. I like to think about metrics and I is I like to think about metrics back to front. So I, th- I always say, I want to solve mm-hmm. one key metric at a time in the business. I see a lot of people that like start nice. off and they're like, we're trying to monetize and we're trying to prove engagement and we're trying to fix our onboarding. I'm like, pick one, right? In Fathom's case, it was like, we, we've, I always start with free user retention first. I'm a big mm. fan of monetize. We did monetize for until we were two years in. Um, I'm a oh, big wow. fan of delayed monetization because I think it's hard enough to get people to use the thing, but then to get them also to pay for it, getting them to use it's hard enough barrier for most products, in my opinion. And I'm generally of yeah. the belief that if someone's using your product day in, day out, you'll eventually find a way to charge them or you'll charge people like them. Um, so right. we focus on retention first and really figured out retention. Once we figure out retention in that beta period with those 50 users I mentioned, then great, we launched, we saw all those users, we saw that onboarding didn't work. And then we got really smart about, okay, let's make sure onboarding works really well. 